So the images are being swapped out and that's great. So let's tighten this up a little more. Avatars are usually, you know, like a smaller format and I want to make this more uniform because if somebody uploads a landscape oriented image, it'll look one way. And if somebody uploads a portrait oriented image, it's going to look a little different. And to keep a uniform size, we'll end up with one either being stretched or squished. So a way to get around that is to actually crop the image. And we're not going to actually permanently crop the image. We're just going to crop out, you know, when it's displayed on the page to show a little less of it. So what we'll actually do is create a div instead of an image tag. And we'll load the image in as the background property of that div. Then we have a little more flexibility of how much of that image is displayed and how big. Now, keep in mind that every change we do here needs to be mimicked over in the Ajax file. So let's not get rid of that image tag just yet. And let's make our div. And we need to give it a class so that we can add some sort of styling to it. Let's call it avatar-container. Now, the trick when doing dynamic CSS kind of like this is that we need to do this inline here within the tag. So let's do style equals background image, then URL, and in parentheses and quotes. We just need to copy and paste this uh, echo here. And now we can get rid of that image tag. So that works, but now we need to add a little more styling to it. Because as far as the page is concerned, this div is there, but it has absolutely no size. So even if that background image loads, you won't see it because that div is basically zero pixels by zero pixels. So let's do that over in the uh, CSS file in config slash css.php. And let's set up a class. So dot avatar dash container, and then your curly brackets. And let's put in a width. Um, so we'll make it square. So height and width both 100 pixels. And let's save that and then go ahead and look at our page. So there you go. We've got an image that's 100 pixels by 100 pixels. But if you notice, all we're actually seeing is the very, very top corner of that big image. So that's not what we want. So let's go back to Aptana and we need to set the uh, size of the image inside the background. So we'll do background dash size and uh, let's try out this contain. So contain will be the property and see how that works. Let's save it and then take a look at it. Now see that kind of works, but it's not actually what I wanted. I want it to fit completely. And if we would have put in a um, portrait oriented image in here, it probably would have looked nice. But you see it's repeating itself since it's a landscape. So let's go back and let's change this from contain to cover. And let's look at that. There you go. That's much better. That's what I wanted. Now let's go back and I want to make sure this is in the center. So let's do a background position and do center space center. So that'll center it both horizontally and vertically. And depending on uh, future use of this and what, what you're doing, you, you might want to change that. Let's go ahead and have a look. And well, for this particular image, this doesn't look right. Uh, usually avatars are going to be you know, like a close-up shot of a face, and the face is not most likely going to be centered in the, uh, the image. So this is just a bad image to use for an example. And so I have an image that I usually use for an avatar, and I'm going to grab that and toss that in here. And here's an example why you need to make sure you are definitely mimicking what you do uh, also in the Ajax file. So now if we want, we can add some, we'll say rounded corners to kind of match the look and feel of the uh, fields on this page. So let's hop over here and we'll do border dash radius and let's just do three pixels. And let's make sure that the Ajax matches. And let's upload another image. Test that out. Looks great. 